Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we will uh, talk about Airflow Lab. So, uh, first of all, uh, Airflow is a tool that helps us in automating our pipelines, our data pipelines and machine learning pipelines. Uh, so, well, as a prerequisite, we require Docker. Uh, so I already have Docker installed on my machine. Uh, and uh, I think you should also specify uh, at least four gigabits of memory. Uh, you can just specify memory here. You can go to settings and then resources. Uh, you need to give at least four. Uh, I give eight, uh, but uh, I think you should give at least four for this lab purposes. And now uh, let's understand what is a uh, DAX query or like what is a DAG uh, in Airflow. So I cloned this repo uh, on my local and I'm going to show you like what are all that's here. So we have something called DAX. Uh, if you see we have DAX and data already uh, given. We have DAX and then we have data. Uh, in this we have one CSV file and then in DAX, if you look, there's something called airflow.py. So this is where you specify your uh, DAG query or like how it should proceed. So first step is like you're saying you are, de you are defining some configurations uh, and then you're going to define DAX. So this is the first one, like load data task. And the second one is data preprocessing, data uh, build shared model, and then the fourth one is uh, loading the model. Uh, these are all uh, def uh, Python operators, and this is the function name. Uh, these are defined in lab two here in a different file. Uh, but if you go here, we are importing all these methods from lab2.py. Here are the methods. So uh, load data is going to load the data set, preprocessing, uh, we write preprocessing code here, and we are going to save our model using dumps, and then we are also uh, loading the model from the dump. So this is how we do it. And then uh, at the end, we are uh, printing out the algorithm score. So that's what the operator is, and this is how your DAX query is written uh, entirely. Define the task and at the end, we define tasks like this. You first specify what task we want to do followed by these greater than symbols and then we close the task. So let's start running this one. Uh, so if you look at these labs, these are the descriptions of all the methods that we use and also Airflow setup. Uh, currently we are using Docker desktop. So uh, we need to create this directory, but uh, no worries, it's not recommend. Uh, it's not needed to create this uh, directory. Uh, if you have cloned this one, if you have not cloned this one, it's recommended to create, but uh, please uh, clone this uh, repository directly using this link here, git clone, and then you can show it. Okay, next is, you have to create. Uh, you need uh, this command will displace uh, how much memory you have. Let me. Uh, let me show you that execution of the command, and also let me delete this. Delete. Let me delete this. So yeah, I specify uh -huh. this machine has like seven point eight gigabits of memory uh given to Docker, uh which is what we need. Okay, now let's okay. If you don't have Docker Compose file, this is how uh you clone uh you download the Docker Compose file and 
then you make some edits in those files using these four. But uh, this repo has already uh, had these changes, but let's check what uh, are those changes. So first step is, uh, I updated my Airflow version uh, to 2.7.1, uh, but you can also use 2.5.1, which is by default in this Docker Compose file. Uh, and then uh, the first one is like, we don't want to load examples. Uh, if you see here, Airflow, uh, Airflow code load examples, uh, which is set to false currently. And then we will define pip personal requirements. Uh, uh, we are going to define Panda, Psychic, Learn, and uh, Need because these are being used here uh, and we uh, want them. So that's the second one. And third one is like, we are going to give something called output directory. And this is the output directory that we specify here. Uh, and then we also specify uh, username and password, the default username and password uh, for the airflow, uh, which were already set. Uh, and that's how we do it. And before proceeding, uh, please look, uh, watch out here. We are going to create these directories. So we should be creating these directories if uh, we don't have them. Uh, because uh, if you observe here, uh, we are specifying our local DAX, the current DAX folder to be in link with containers. So we are specifying them as volumes to containers and then we are specifying the path. So whatever goes into slash opt slash airflow slash logs goes to logs folder of our current directory. And same thing goes with working directory, oh, sorry, working data here. So we are going to save them like that. So that's uh, needed. Uh, so this step is needed here uh, for creating the uh, directories and then let's go the first step is to initialize database so uh what does this command do is like it's going to initialize two database redis and postgresql database which are uh, going to have a default username and all the default configurations that we have so it says like our uh, airflow to already exists in database so uh, uh, I think like we can just we can next run the command docker compose up. So this will create all the web services or containers that are required in running Airflow. If you see, it's going to install all these libraries that we specify here. Uh, so it install all of them and it's running. Uh, if you are running it for the first time, it might take a couple of minutes as it needs to download the images and also create uh, everything from scratch. It's gonna take a couple of minutes of time, but yeah. Now, as soon as you see this message, uh, we have our Airflow running. So let's go to the folder. Okay, uh, if, so you will be presented like this initially. Uh, you need to specify Airflow2 and Airflow2 as password, both of them are same. And then we uh, uh, need to Look here. So now this, uh, you might not be seeing this when you create for the first time. You might have see, you might see just only your Python tag, and you won't be having any runs or anything recent tasks. So uh, I'll let's uh, run a DAG so we can click on. You might be seeing it like this. So you might click on this one, which is going to run. Let's reload and then let's go to active and it's running. Let's go here and we need to click on graph. We can see the task. So if you observe closely here, uh, if whatever is specified the task in the order, load data task, data preprocessing task, build save model task and load model task. That's the order that we are going to have. So for, if you see like it's going to be Q, queued first and it's going to be running. And then if it succeeded, it's going to be succeed. If it failed, it's going to fail. So this is how we are going to run it, but, uh, and you have your model saved. If you observe closely here in our lab too, I, uh, I saved the dump file uh, in my working directory here. 
So if you see here, I have the model. Uh, technically, you will not be directly saving it. You will be saving it with uh, uh, date and timestamp at the end so that uh, you can load the model or you can go back and see what you have done. But if if it failed, let's see here. In this case, my DAC query failed here. Uh, you can obviously go and check what are the logs that are happening. If you click on logs, you can see. Uh, okay, this might not be the case, but let's go here. If you go to DAG, again, if you go to failed, and then you need to click on this manual button, and then, oh, why is it like this? Click and if you scroll, if details, okay, you need to click on details and you can click on failed ones. Uh, so uh, it's like, first thing is it's load model task fail. So I'm gonna open it in a new task. So if you scroll down, uh, if you, sorry, yeah, you can click on this log and it's gonna display you the logs that are going to have. So it's specifying attempt one dot log. So we can go to logs, drag your Python, load model task, attempt one dot log. So like this, you can scroll, load over logs and see what's in there. Uh, I accidentally deleted the logs while I was running last time. So maybe we can, let's create some logs here. Uh, maybe save this model again, and then let's run it again. I don't know if this model is going to load again. If it does not load, maybe we should see graph here running. Okay, it failed here. So this is what we wanted to do. Now let's go back. Let's go to details. Let's click on failed. And let's go to the tasks. And then you can click on log if you scroll down. Error name or service not defined. So now if you see here, uh, here it says success like error. We'll fix it. Some score. And then let's check here. I purposely made this edit to show you how to look at the logs. You can scroll down and you can see other required information. Now let's, okay, now let's go here. Uh, where does it fail? uh python dag this one graph it will let build save model task so now we can go to logs your python manual run okay this one build save model task attempt one dot log c if you check here uh it's specifying what you have said like file not found you check here slash ppt and model do dot save it's not fun that's what the error is so we fixed it uh by replacing the commands and then let's run it again so that's go ahead let's do the graph so if you go by linking these volumes in your docker compose file all these volumes we can have the logs here see if you see uh, this dax folder is in sync with airflow dax the these Logs folder is in sync with logs and the plugins folder is sync in with plugins and then working directory is sync in with working directory. Now you can see it's successful. That's how you're going to analyze 
your logs and also that's how you're going to save your model uh, and then you can verify them thank you